and continue with the workshop. I hope that the coffee enjoy enjoy you. Well, the next presentation is the cable robot and it's going to be made by Mark Fabritius. Uh, signed September 2018, works as researcher fellow in the field of cable robotics at the Fraunhofer Institute for Manufacturing, Engineering and Automation, HIPA, Department Robot and Assistive System in Stuttgart, master thesis in field of cable robotics, analysis of the collision-free workspace of cable driving parallel robots, September 2016, 17, sorry, February 2018, Studies on simulation technology until February 2018 at the University of Stuttgart. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. So today I'm going to present you the work of my team on cable robotics at um, Fraunhofer IPA in Stuttgart. And we develop um, cable-driven parallel robots for almost um, 10 years now. And uh, our goal is that they become a universal positioning system. Um, and Hincon is a very uh, good example for a po possible application for this. Um, so first, many of you may not be aware of this. What is a cable robot? Um, it consists of um, the mobile platform, where in the case of Hincon, we have the extruder. And then we can move this platform around using um, cables. So in Hintcon, we have eight cables. So it's fully constrained. So therefore, we can control both position and orientation of this platform. But there's also other configurations when the system is hanging and we only have four cables, for example, um, which also has its benefit in other um, applications. But the eight cables um, are controlled by modular winches, which are um, positioned in the corners of the room. And um, through them, we can very accurately uh, control the length of the cables. Um, so what are the benefits of such a system? We have a large workspace. As we um, have seen in Hintcon, we can print large work pieces. Furthermore, um, we can use established technology of cables and winches, which have been developed uh, in the construction sector for years. So um, all the components that we have are already well established and studied, and we just put them together to a cable robot. And therefore, we can have high dynamics with strong winches and high payloads. Um, because we have such a large workspace of several meters and also several meters of height. Um, the only really comparison um, machine that is out there are gantry systems and compared to them uh, we offer a much lower price for the same uh, performance. Um, a benefit that we also have is that we uh, that the cable robot is can be reconfigured relatively easily. You can um, just mount the winches in different positions or change the mobile platform fairly quickly. And furthermore, it can be easily um, transported to another side. So in the future, we imagine that something like a uh, Hintcon could be printed, um, could print parts on site on the construction side. Um, so for the cable robot, the first step is always to um, plan and design it and simulate it. So here you see a screenshot of a simulation we've done for Hintcon. And in green, you see the workspace, the printing workspace that we can use for the robot. And we have our own software tool to design and optimize cable-driven parallel robots and analyze the workspace, collisions, and uh, also the stiffness, for example. Um, Furthermore, we develop our own hardware. So in Hintcon, these are the winches, and here you see the pulley units. Um, so we're fairly flexible on mounting these uh, pulley units to optimize the workspace. And here you also see the, um, the frame of the platform, which we supplied, and then you see the extruder from our partners at FSIM. And, um, what you cannot see here is uh, we also um, 
do our own control cabinets and all the electrical infrastructure and safety equipment. Um, then we also do the um, calibration and the control software. We can either control cable robot manually, for example, using a joystick or a computer, or program them with G-code as it was done in Hintcon to generate the printing trajectories. Um, for smaller cable robots, there's also force control and admittance control. To achieve <coughs> a high accuracy, we need an initial calibration of the system such that it knows all the dimensions of the winches, their positions, and of the mobile platform. For that, we use a laser tracker. And furthermore, we have integrated already safety concepts and a fence around the robot. So, yeah, that the humans are safe during operation. Um, past projects, where we've come from, you can see we've come a long way. So first, we just handled wooden pallets with a really easy gripper and the, their weight was only 13 kilograms. And the workspace was also smaller, the robot was smaller than in Hintcon. Then um, we handled solo collectors and already um, put them in place. So here the gripper um, was more complicated and the payload higher. Um, here, this is our largest cable robot yet. It's a motion simulator to simulate helicopter flights. So a human can sit in it and control it again with a joystick, but also have VR goggles and view the helicopter flight. So it's a very powerful system where eight winches and each has 800 horse, uh, 500 horsepower and accelerations of up to 1.5 G in every um, direction. So this is also a possible um, um, application of cable robots to train pilots, for example, in a flight simulator. Uh, here, also in entertainment, we had suspended cable robots um, just for entertainment, and they were flying around over, over the crowd. And here, the important part was the safety certification and the collaboration with artists so that they look nice and yeah, integrate into the performance. Um, now, this project with Hintcon, we also further developed the cable robot and the main challenges and further developments were the varying payloads. So depending if the concrete tank is full or empty, uh, they is, uh, the difference in payload is really high and we want a large workspace to print large parts <coughs> and also a high printing ac accuracy. And of course, we want to avoid collisions between the already printed parts and other uh, um, objects in the environment and the cable robot and the cables because we have four cables coming from um, the lower corners of the room. So this could be a problem that we had to account for and then the robot. Um, so far, this is the first robot that had to work in a construction site environment since we also develop all the winches and all the mechanical parts. Um, we were quite happy to see that they can survive in the environment where concrete is mixed and it's dirty and dusty. And um, so the lessons are that um, a good printing quality can be achieved with such a system but we can also still improve, for example, the stiffness of the cable robot to reduce vibrations. Um, other ongoing projects are even larger where we plan um, a cable robot to mount facade elements on buildings. So there the platform will weigh up to a ton and the workspace will also be even larger. Um, so yeah. Thank you. This, I hope I gave you um, a good impression on cable robots. <laughs>